Hi. <clears throat> I wanted to share my story. It's an interesting story, but I feel like this is the right place to say it. Um, I've never really felt qualified to be in a position to say anything or to, to know anything about just something very specific. And with this, with Happy Hippie and Foundation and Miley Cyrus, I feel like this is weirdly my avenue to talk about. So, I first wanted to start with the story about one of my best friends, JP. He, um, he had been homeless off and on for years, and he sometimes would sneak into my house at night and uh, stay here the night and things like that, and he had nowhere to go. He was a heavy user of drugs and, um, and blues, and basically it was heroin, and it got to the point where he was, he was uh, shooting up. It got really bad, but um, one thing I one thing I always noticed about him is, is uh, the way he always packed up his backpack. He, you know, he folded everything meticulously and uh, things like that. I never really got that. So fast forward to the future, um, which is my story, my life. Um, as a gay man, which I am, which it's weird to say out loud. I mean, a lot of my friends know, but I, I mean, it's, um, a lot of people would say, you know, it's not the main focus of your life. You have so many different other things about life that are great about you, uh, but it is, you know, a part of my life. And, um, so I'm going to this wonderful school, my dream school, and, um, and a lot of unfortunate things happened and I became homeless while going to school. Um, I had nowhere to go. I was couch hopping and then a lot of no one knows this I was I was homeless I was basically walking around school at night and um, you know using the school's Wi-Fi and just freezing my ass off until you know the student center opened in the morning and uh, a lot of people probably thought you know I was having drinking problems or things like that they didn't know I had nowhere to go nowhere to stay and one thing, one day, what, what hit me was, I, all I had was my backpack with me, and I started folding my clothes, you know, and it hit me why my friend JP did that. It was the only thing left you had control of in your life that you could bring structure to. Um, just folding your own clothes, having dignity when you've lost everything else and you have nowhere to go. So, yeah, it's tough. Um, unfortunately now, because of the problem with my homelessness, I had to go back living with my parents um, who, bless their hearts, love me and support me. But um, because of that, I can't go to school right now. And, I uh, probably am kicked out. So everyone has struggle. The struggle is real. You know, there's homelessness, and a lot of it has to do with, not in my case, but a lot of it has to do with, you know, um, being gay or bisexual or um, um, le a lesbian or even a transsexual. And a lot of it causes drug problems and... Um, it's just all this really big, horrible mess, and I wanted to say thank you to Miley Cyrus and the people involved in Happy Hippie for doing what I can't do because you have the money and the ability to create this foundation. Not the literal foundation, but a foundation for people to be able to help each other and for you to help them. And for me in my own little way right now to voice my story and what I'm thinking and my hopes for the future for other people. Uh, it's just great it's it's just that little bit of hope that I needed I hope I give other people hope because I want to tell you guys something we cannot give up and we cannot lose hope and in in multiple ways you know being who you are as a gay person or your drug problems or being homeless or you know not having any hope right now because of you can't go to school because of these problems we have to stick together. We have to give each other hope. And we have you have to know deep and down inside of your heart that there's hope. 
it might not seem like it right now. I might not have a future right now, a foreseeable future, but I'm not going to lose hope. Thank you, Miley Cyrus, and thank you to the others who voice your stories and your opinions and your hopes and dreams. It's going to be our generation, no matter what anyone says, <laughs> that's going to change things because, you know, we're such fuck-ups anyway, we're probably going to force ourselves to do better, so. Anyway, don't lose hope.